I will show you the images of the halibut that I've been catching uh, in the past uh, month or so. Uh, the bite has been good when there's not a lot of bait fish in the water. So uh, before I go to those images and those photos, I'd like to show you what I've been using for my rig to catch and slay a lot of these halibut. This is a um, fluorocarbon 20 pound is what I'm using for this setup. Uh, you could use as much as 30 pound uh, if you like. Uh, you'll need three snap swivels, okay? Three snap swivels. I'll show you why I prefer snap swivels rather than just the barrel swivel alone, okay? And you'll need two beads. Uh, you can use um, red, green, chartreuse, whatever color you, you want. There's really no preference. But uh, there is a purpose for using two beads. So uh, I don't use a three-way swivel. I find that the three-way swivel itself tends to lock up. Okay, I have a three-way swivel here. Okay, I find that a three-way swivel tends to lock up even though it's supposed to run freely. Um, I, I, I'm guessing that in a certain direction when the fish goes up in the air, all these barrels here that are interlocked in this little ring, okay, tend to get locked and it just allows your fish to just run in circles and you find, you know, you pull up your line to do a bait check and, you know, your fish is all twisted up in the line and, you know, it's not doing its job. So that's why I like to use barrel swivels with the snap and two beads, okay? We're gonna go ahead and pull out maybe one arm's length of the floral carbon. All right, so we went ahead and tied the 20 pound floral carbon, put a cinch knot, and I tied it straight to the snap on the barrel swivel on that very corner. So you can see this is not U-shaped. There's a little slant to it. So I tip it right there at the corner, okay? And I know most people will just use a barrel swivel without the snap, you're welcome to do that. But definitely on this next part, I use a barrel swivel with a snap and I'll show you why. Okay, next what we'll do is we'll slide one bead into the fluorocarbon that's connected to our main line, okay? We want to use, or I like to use, not a three-way swivel, but a swivel with a snap, okay? This is the kind of snap where the tip has a little angle right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm sure you can, okay? There's a little angle here, all right? You're welcome to use snaps that are rounded at the tips, like so, okay, this is another snap, but it's connected to a um, slider, okay, so you're welcome to use these kinds of snap, that's up to you, all right, I like to use a snap with this slant on it, all right, so it's a barrel swivel with a snap, so we'll put our bead, a snap swivel, barrel barrel swivel with a snap and a second bead so what you want to do with the second bead is you want to loop your line inside the hole for a second time so put it in once and then wrap it around twice what it does is create a loop okay I don't know if you can see that it creates a loop all right around the bead 
when you have your weight at the bottom end here it pulls tight okay on the bear on the bead so it won't move okay that's actually what you want all right let's go ahead and slide this to the top where our barrel swivel and our first bead is okay so you have something like this all right so this first bead will move your second bead is interlocked by the line okay so the barrel swivel actually moves freely two directions okay it'll move freely when it spins like this okay when it goes in circles and when it twists this way okay I find that having a longer extension because of the snap swivel allows me to have fewer um, ratio as far as a live bait uh, it wraps around less it untangles easier if it does wrap uh, there has been times where um, the bait fish will do a loop itself like a like you're tying your shoe it'll go around maybe the line will stick and it'll go through the loop and therefore create a knot in your line but that's probably the worst I've seen um, using this setup um, I would say uh, I get uh, most of my hookups with this kind of setup uh, it's pretty strong um, it doesn't get twisted like most people's setup does with a barrel swivel or the three-way three swivel so that's why I like to use this okay so just to show you guys here's my rod all right here's my braided line I have a bead so that it stops before it hits uh, the tip of the rod I have a barrel swivel and snap you're welcome just to use the barrel swivel only tie it to your 20 pound fluorocarbon we want to put a bead snap swivel barrel swivel with a snap and a second bead on the second bead on the bottom bead going towards your weight you want to loop it around twice okay this allows you to make adjustments now when you make an adjustment give the bottom side some slack so you can move this bead around okay see how that slides here I can put it lower if I want to towards the bottom I could put it higher towards the top and that's where it will most likely stay all right reason why I want it to adjust because I want my bait away from the ground a lot of people just use a Carolina rig like a surf perch rig where the weight has an egg sinker sits on the bottom right and you have a loose line maybe about two three feet maybe longer four feet five feet of a line that goes to your live bait now being that we are in the bay and uh, we do have a lot of crustaceans rock crabs dungeness crabs they can easily reach for that bait so what I like to do with this setup is put an adjustment on it so that my line where I hook up my hook I could make an adjustment all right so we're gonna go ahead and do the hook side for this um, halibut rig uh, I'll do maybe one arm length, one arm's length. That's all you really need. Okay. Now, for the hooks, I like to use these owner hooks. These are size two. This is a mosquito style hook, so they are pretty thin. So, messing with the anchovies, we know the area in the snout of the anchovy is pretty small. You don't want to go ahead and put you know use a size one hook all right one is kind of large 
uh, unless you get a bigger size anchovy. Uh, when we hook them through the nostril or the nose, um, you don't want to rip the nose and allow your fish to run away. So you want to use something skinny, but yet something strong. I, I don't know why I like these red hooks. There's just something about red hooks that I like to use. So that's why I go to my local shop, uh, Walmart, and I get these owner size two hooks. All right. So I'm going to show you a simple knot, which uh, we call a knotless knot. Okay, so from the eye of the hook, from the eye of the hook, all right, we're gonna put our line in there. And this is a very simple, simple line, uh, excuse me, simple knot. So from the eye of the hook, we go in, all right? Give yourself some slack, hold that in place. We're gonna wrap around six times, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so it's nicely wrapped. This main line that we went through, now we're gonna go the opposite direction of the eye. Okay, when you put that opposite direction, okay, you're basically make, making a snell knot. Okay, if you pull real tight, Look how clean that is, okay? That's a very clean knot. You just cut off the tag. That's down here. And that's a very strong knot to have when you're catching these fish, okay? Um, definitely, you could end up landing something bigger, all right? So you might wanna go around eight times uh, since this is a smaller hook, six times is uh, good enough. Uh, if you want to use a size one, you're welcome to. If you have bigger bait, go ahead, wrap it around eight times and then loop it through. Okay, your hook and line is now free to adjust. Okay, so here's the bottom of my bead. I can adjust it lower, which brings my hook lower. All right. Here's my weight. If I want the hook to sit closer to the floor, that's what we make the adjustment for. All right. Here's I'm stretching out the weight and the hook. It sits right about above the barrel swivel, okay? I actually don't like it this close. You want it about six to eight inches away from your, um, from your weight. That is the strike zone of a halibut. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, again, introducing myself to YouTube. All right, my name is Eric, aka Omega 5 Fisher. Okay, for those who know my channel. All right, so hope to see you guys out there catching some halibut. Get them!